before we drive it, we just want to go through and correct some of the things we kind of overlooked in the past or did a not so great job on. Because now that the thing's coming into like fruition, we really see the potential and we want to give 100% effort on every single part of this thing. Uh, with that being said, the shifter was very cable and not that great. So we're upgrading to basically an automatic transmission cable in a car to shift. This is basically a typical two-way cable. Um, thanks to you guys, a couple people commented how we should go to this system and it makes a lot more sense. So I just spent the last 40 minutes or so making up this bracket. It is super beefy, it bolts onto the engine so it's gonna be super easy to have maintenance and stuff for. So let's get this installed and see how good our shifter works. Spring assisted shocks are really good for a go-kart application and they give us, you know, about 10 inches of travel just at the shock. It's basically like a long travel mod for a go-kart. Um, we basically have an issue where the shocks are too stiff because they're made for a car and our springs don't have enough rebound to get it up. So basically like driving it should be okay, but what we're worried about is like an extreme case where there's two people in it and it's really fully like all the way down, we start to have some issues with steering clearance and stuff like that. So, Joe, how are we gonna remedy that issue? Well, luckily a lot of my friends were hockey players, so we got some hockey pucks. We're gonna drill a hole in them, a slot, and we're gonna push these springs down and put these in to act as a spring spacer, and hopefully that should help our rebound time. Yeah, definitely a little DIY, but I think this is gonna be a cheap and hopefully very effective solution. Moment of truth, hockey pucks are in. Let's see how much stiffer it is. That's so much better, guys. Here, Joe, hop on this too. Yeah, just like. We don't bottom out for yeah. steering. And it springs back up real nice. Cool. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna move over to the back and do the exact same thing. And then I think it's test drive time. All right, so in review before we drive this thing, the things we fixed up are we added the hockey pucks to have this thing just be a little bit stiffer. We finalized the shifter and clutch and it goes into gears perfectly. Super easy operation. Um, so that cable was a fix. And then we added this box here to get rid of our frozen box. Um, so I think we're ready guys. Let's go drive this thing. We're finally here and this was such a long build we're gonna kind of just go through like our expectations of what we think is like really solid and what we think might be an issue before we drive it um, just so we can kind of go through that like engineering thought process a little bit so I don't know Jason what do you think is gonna like be a potential cause of failure on this thing yeah I think maybe one of our things is the uh, 40 chain or the this chain on the right side from the jack shaft to the axle is unstretched so that might stretch and have some like chain skipping or issues like that um other than that maybe high speeds yeah i don't think there's any really big issues yeah the suspension's pretty much untested so hopefully this kind of this thing we thought of and conjured up with some hockey pucks in there actually works pretty well but so now let's cross our fingers let's hope those things we just said don't happen and let's go rip this thing
I thought it was all, what do you think, Joe? I thought it was awesome. It actually rides a lot nicer than I thought it would be. Yeah. It's not as rough as I thought it'd be, and uh, yeah, really so, fun. Mm -hmm. And if we come a little closer here, you'll notice how the chain did, as we suspected, stretch. Um, I don't think the I don't think it moved or anything. I think we're okay. It just uh, all we need to do is loosen these bolts and pull back the uh, the jack shaft, and we should be good to go. All right, so we kind of got to drive it to our heart's content, at least each each of us. Um, so now what we're gonna do is we'll first get some flybys probably on this road, just to kind of get an idea for how the top speed is, because we might consider a regear on this thing. Um, and then if we have issues with and if, if it survives that, then we'll try some launches, some kind of go back on this dirt, see how see if we can throw some rocks and stuff. So. Pretty excited though, so far she's doing good. Staying under temperature, all that stuff. So as far as carb tuning goes, we have yet to sink these carburetors. So that could be breaking up, um, you know, it's because it is a two cylinder. So if the carbs aren't perfectly synced, one could have more fuel than the other. And then the other one's running a little bit leaner and it'll pop and stuff because it's not getting, you know, it's pushing air out and stuff or too much fuel. So, but we just tighten that up. Let's hop back in this thing and let her rip, Tater Chip. Hey guys, oh. Uh, Wait, is the fan running? Hey, oh. the fan works. Okay, well that's positive. Hey, that's awesome. Temperatures, uh, let's see. Yeah, temperature's right where it should be. Everything else seems good. Uh, we definitely have some carb issues. But besides that, it does seem like pretty much everything else is solid, so. Do you think you can launch it? No, that, when I was like sitting there like this, that was me like in first trying to drive. Okay. So what if you like revved the hell out of it and I can try. It? Let's try that because I want to test this chain. True. Well, I just drove it up hills and stuff. I tried my very hardest to launch it, guys. So um, it's not like we're driving it slow or anything. It's just the carbs are pissed off. Um, so what we need to do is we need to sink them. We need to check the jetting and stuff. It free revs perfectly. Um, it's just, I don't know, something about it. But even in first gear with all the torque we have, we could barely spin the tires. So we should be, rock we should be spinning in like third, I think. Um, but the fan works and everything. Um, I think the only system that could be potentially an issue here are the carburetors. Um, I mean, we like, we were doing our very best to try to jerk that chain or make it mess up. Like, I mean, I think it's gonna be good. So I guess when we strip it down for paint, we'll give it our best shot to just um, try to get that motor running. We also have a second motor too, but we're gonna have to, first thing we're gonna do is sink the carbs for sure. But I think Jason's gonna hop in it. We'll do some flexing and stuff because it's been a long time since building this thing. We want to have some fun before we tear it all apart and do more work to it. Another issue we might be having is 
the Go Power Sports like gravity fed tank meant for like a 670 or something might not be giving this thing enough fuel pressure um, just to keep the bowls full. So what we might do is either experiment with like adding something like a pulse pump or even an electric pump just to get some more fuel in those bowls because we might be having fuel cut issues as well. thanks for watching this thing really impressed us it in basically every way besides the carbs it was super solid performed exactly how we wanted it and in many ways better than we wanted it the suspension really worked awesomely I mean flexing it over there it really felt like all the suspension was working and feeling good so yeah uh, it definitely surprised me um, my biggest I mean none of us thought the carbs would be an issue going into it like it revs perfectly all those things um, but I guess that's just how it goes when you're building stuff. But um, I really love just sitting in it. It feels so much like we went we went the extra mile to put on like, you know, the, all the lights, switches, dashboard, windshield, all of those things. It feels like you're in a car. Um, and I hope the GoPro footage of in between the seats uh, looks really cool because I want, I want y'all to feel how like we felt riding this thing. So with that being said, Stay tuned for some more vids on this thing, like kind of like di diagnosing what's wrong with the carburetors. So then it's we got to paint it. We have a cool tractor paint gray scheme we're going to go with because we just want something really durable because we plan on taking this thing where we take the Jeeps on some off road trails and just kind of following them and being out there all day. So I think she can do it. The radiator fan kicked on. Everything works. I mean, I'm just so excited. Thank you, Go Power Sports. Thank you, Oxbeam. Thank you, DG. The links for everything are going to be in the description. And be sure to tell them that we sent you. Also, if you have questions, DM us on Instagram. We'll be able to tell you anything about the deuce. So, thanks for watching. See you next time.